Okay, here's the next part about it. One castle. All right, as always, the intro. Thanks to the efforts of the mighty Lubu, Cao Cao was eliminated at Guangdu. Having further solidified his position, Dong Zhuo looks to further expand by beginning a campaign to the south, with Lu Bu serving as vanguard. The Lord of Wan Castle, Zhang Zhu, trembled at the mention of Lu Bu's name and immediately surrendered. When Dong Zhuo subsequently enters Wan Castle, he is smitten by the wife of the former Lord of Wan, Zhang Ji. Zhang Zhu is the nephew of Zhang Ji, and he was enraged by Dong Zhuo's actions. He consults with his strategist, Jia Zhu, who proposes a plan to ambush Dong Zhuo by enlisting the aid of Lu Bei, currently residing in Jing. Alright, the equipment's the same, the weapons the same, the items, I'm going to leave them the way they are, the usual five. We now, well I should say still, but we now have eight bodyguards, and uh... Yeah, now the only thing is getting them at max. The equipment, I'm going to keep the same, obviously. The conditions, if Zhang Xiu and Liu Bei are both defeated, or if Dong Zhu escapes, we win. If Dong Zhu is killed, then, well, we lose. Plain and simple. The unit info. I mean, this is the first time we're playing this map for Extreme Legends, so, you know... I mean, it's nothing special. Um, when it comes to the escape, I'm going to actually try to pull it off this time. For, you know, it will make, it'll make up for me failing uh, Liu Bei at Chang Bon. But uh, we'll see what happens. I really hope I can pull it off here. Anyway, let's do it. Protect our retreat. I'll clean up here. Where is Lubu? I'll be surrounded soon. Haste is necessary, or all will be lost. We must save them. All right. So we're not going to do that just yet. But once you head to Dang Zhuo's position, he will start retreating. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is defeat some troops here and defeat Hu Chi Er. There we go. I defeated an officer. Wow, that was a lot of arrows. Alright, we defeated Hu Che Er, and uh, over here is the Moose Wine. Not that hard to find. Well, if you don't know the maps, then yeah, it's gonna be hard to find, but. Anyway, ooh, that'll help. That one archer managed to get me. Wow, there's a lot of archers in this area. If we break this box here, there should be an item. Yep. 
Yeah, let's take care of those rats. Yeah, I'm calling them rats because that's exactly what they are, rats. And yes, I still have my bodyguards shielding. Because I I'm not going to put him back into attack. Just because I have a feeling that, well, they might just, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Kill officers that I need to get points for. But, you know, that's just me. Anyway, we grab the first item and I'm running into a wall. So, what we're going to do now is go where the gate where Sao Sao would retreat. And uh, there will be an item over here as well. I'm sorry, not an item, a weapon. Well, I was one shy from getting the iron shield, so... And every time I'm saying shield, I'm thinking sword. Don't know why. The first thing that pops in my head is sword. So I guess that's why, maybe? Anyway, let's go and approach Dang Zhuo. This will start the retreat. I remember playing one castle under Wei's forces, Sao Sao's forces, and uh, the only way for Sao Sao to retreat is if you, well, if you hold out long enough. Well, if he's at the escape point for starters, for second, if Dian Wei gets killed. That's the only way for Sao Sao to retreat. Unless he knows some type of odd glitch. But, you know, I don't do glitches. Anyway, here's Zhang Fei. Truly believe you can defeat me alone? So the cutscene's a little bit different in this particular battle for Zhang Fei and Guan Yu. Once we approach Guan Yu, and we will for sure. Alright, so now what we're going to do is continue on, I think, Zhao Yun's over here. But first, let's go up here. If you go all the way up north and you see these three clay pots, two on one side and one on the other. Break the two, because instead of the usual uh, full... Um, not full. What was it? 50. You'll get 50. Uh, one meat bun, which is 50 HP. There's a dim sum here instead. Well, according to the map that I'm reading at the moment. Anyway, let's go kill some more troops and approach Zhao Yun and then approach Dong Zhuo so we could do this retreat. Like I said, I hope that I manage to pull it off. If not, then well, shucks. That's another one down. Oh, such incredible strength. We're falling behind. Go. All right, now let's get to Dong Zhuo. And once that happens, 
both Liu Bei and Zhang Xiu will both start charging after you. Because you don't want, well, they don't want Dong Zhuo to escape. Fortunately, well, fortunately for us and unfortunately for them, that will probably happen. Alright, so now we hook a left. Okay, the one thing you don't want to happen is having them both attack Dong Zhuo. And I mean they, as in Liu Bei and Zhang Xiu. Because then we'll have to defeat them both. And how I'm seeing it, looks like Dong Zhuo is starting to approach Liu Bei. Well, Jia Xu's down. Alright, now he's starting to retreat. So, all we have to do is get Dong Jewel to the top left of the screen. Which is basically the one gate that Guan Yu is guarding. So we have to defeat Guan Yu as well. So we're going to continue on and defeat Zhang Xiu. Hopefully I can defeat him before this battle axe timer runs out. Uh, well he's heading in the right direction. Prepare to meet your ancestors. Alright, so now, from here on out, it's pretty much smooth sailing. All we have to do now is just escort him towards that uh, northwestern gate, and then he'll retreat. I mean, we have to face Liu Bei anyway later on, so. Let's just go and defeat Guan Yu without getting hit by archers. Wow, what a way to start after a cutscene. Alright, let's get rid of the gate captain and then get rid of the archers. So yeah, all we have to do is escape, but now all we have to do is defeat Guan Yu.
Wow. There we go. You have not seen the last of me. Farewell. Did you really think that you could capture me? And we did it. Yeah, I usually say, and that's a win. But we managed to get... Uh, yeah, we got Dong Zhuo to escape, which really isn't... I mean, yes, it's a victory in a way, but it's a different victory because, well... We didn't have to kill somebody to finish off the battle. Anyway, it took a little under 11 minutes. I mean, just barely 11 minutes, but... Yeah, so it went pretty short. I mean, it went it just went by pretty quickly, which I like. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Nothing special. I'm just going to stick with the attack. Part of me thinks I should grab that defense, but I don't care right now. Alright, the items. Nope, nothing special. That's what I thought. Not even bodyguard weapons. Okay. Anyway, our KO counts 243. We got almost 295 points for that, which is kind of a good thing for the fact that we have more points than KOs. We basically defeated everybody except for Liu Bei. We kept them alive because we were trying to get Dong Shu to retreat. And uh, their retreat was a success. So we got 4,700 points. Now. Let's see here with the bodyguards and the uh, regular amount of points that we have for Lubu. Even though that was a mouthful and a half and made a little bit no sense. So we got a couple of uh, class upgrades for Lubu. It's not going to be that important once I'm done with the Musa modes because they're probably going to be at max. The next time you'll see, well, after this Musa mode, obviously. So we didn't get any growth points. Wasn't a surprise. So we'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures. And I'll see you for the next part. Peace.